AMD's hard-hitting budget Ryzen 3 4-core, four 4-threaded four CPUs are finally here in two different flavors. That's the 1200 and the 1300X. Now, I'm going to be testing both these CPUs with a GTX 1060 and a 1080. However, I will say that I absolutely love the 1200 because AMD have allowed this CPU to be overclocked on budget motherboards like the B350s. And when I did this in PUBG, that's Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, it scored phenomenally well, beating out the G4560, which is already Already a very popular option for budget-minded gamers, but also competing with CPUs that are almost double in price for particular games. So today we're going to be taking a look at this CPU more in depth and seeing who exactly is it for. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. Today we're taking a look at the $109 Ryzen 3 1200 and also the $129 Ryzen 3 1300X, which in my opinion are suited perfectly for someone who wants to get into gaming with really good performance on a budget. However, without wasting any more of your time, let's take a look at those benchmarks. So as always, the benchmarks do the talking, but what we saw with the Ryzen 3 1200 and even the 1300X is that you will want to overclock these CPUs in order to extract the most performance out of them. Keep in mind the G4560 is still a really good choice if all you want to do is save money and not go into the BIOS and change any settings. That coupled with a GTX 1050 Ti or RX 470 or RX 570 will be a very good proposition for gamers still. Though where the Ryzen 3 1200 really shines is when you start overclocking it. Though as for the Ryzen 3 1200, seriously, if you're not into overclocking, at its stock speeds, it does perform similar to the G4560 in a lot of titles. So with that, I will be bringing out a Ryzen 3 overclocking tutorial very soon for you guys. And all you have to do is go into the BIOS, change a few settings, and you should be at least hitting 3.8 gigahertz. And now at these speeds, coupled with the GTX 1060, you'll get phenomenal performance in not just frame rates, but also a very smooth experience. I found it to be quite smooth in games like Players Unknown's Battlegrounds, as opposed to the G4560, which had a little bit of stuttering compared to the four core, four threaded variant. And now in terms of the physical specs of the CPUs themselves, the 1300X and the 1200 will be identical CPUs when you run both of these CPUs at four gigahertz on all cores, which in this case, both my samples went up to these speeds with the included race stealth cooler and the temperatures still had a good 10 degrees breathing room. This is at a 25 degree ambient temperature in my room. So really loving what this CPU can do. AMD have included a really good stock cooler as well that would do a good job of cooling and staying quiet as well. So the 1300X, let's quickly talk about that. $129 if you aren't into overclocking at all and you want to get a really cheap motherboard like an A320. As Tech Deals said in his videos, this is a very good value for money proposition for that gamer who just wants simplicity and ease and still gets good results. Also on that note, with the Ryzen 3 1200, it didn't just do well in games. When it came to productivity on a budget, this thing did extremely well. The one thing I will point out with the G4560 and also the Ryzen 3, if you guys are into 4K video editing, and you say for instance recording 100 megabits per second footage, then I highly recommend upgrading to the Ryzen 5 1600. As on both these CPUs, I did encounter some sort of sound skipping when I was testing it out. So I believe it's just too weak 
to do 4K video rendering. Though if you're into 1080p video rendering or you're into doing some budget productivity, then the Ryzen 3 1200 will do extremely well. Though when all said and done, the $109 4 core, 4 threaded CPU from AMD actually reminds me of those days where we got the X58 motherboards, i7 920s, and we extracted a lot of performance out of them for nothing. This is exactly what you're getting here. And not just that, the B350 motherboards, if you're gonna get one of those, have a really good upgrade path. So if you wanna get a four core, four threaded CPU now, game pretty well, then in the future you can upgrade to a Ryzen 7, eight core, 16 threaded beast, and you'll be able to save a lot of money and still get really good performance as opposed to upgrading your whole system. But also, what about those higher end CPUs? Say for instance, you've got a bit more money, then I highly recommend the Ryzen 5 1600 with six cores, 12 threads, it absolutely dominates productivity. And also if you wanna get into streaming, this would be the CPU for you. Of course, the 7600K and also the 7700K still have their place in being the absolute high FPS king for competitive gamers, although they aren't that good in terms of price performance in my opinion. So there's lots of different options out there, though when it comes to this bracket, the Ryzen 3 1200 is winning pretty hard. Though with all said and done, the four core, four threaded option is still very relevant in today's games. Although there is a big push for games to support more threads and more cores, as in the case of PUBG with its recent optimization update, which when I looked at it further, it actually still is very uh, dual core predominant. And that's why you saw a lot of the results with the Ryzen uh, 3 1200 when it was overclocked, comparing very similar to the 1600 in a lot of titles with the GTX 1080. So four cores, four threads, still here to stay. This is a very solid option that does better than the G4560, especially if you overclock it. Though keep in mind, if you're not into overclocking at all, the G4560 is still a very good proposition in terms of value for money. I just believe the Ryzen 3 1200, please guys, get this thing and overclock it and you'll be having a great time. Anyway, if you enjoyed this review, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments about today's games like CSGO, Dota 2, or any of the other games that I tested, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. And also a build, a Ryzen 3 mini ITX build. So stay tuned for that. And also my friend over at Hardware Unboxed, he has a heap of benchmarks where he's tested more games than I have. So go check out his video if you want some more in-depth testing on Ryzen 3. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.